This is Dabu7, and this is geared toward all those people out there that still may be wondering, why are they up here protesting this Dakota Access Pipeline? I've seen some that obviously have not looked far into it, that, are, that really seem to be manipulated by the mainstream media heavily, I mean heavily damaged individuals, that say, well, the first thing they state is, oh, they're on private property, so every single one of them should go to jail. So I, I want to put it to you like this. Imagine that your only stream of fresh drinking water flowing down into your area had a pipeline going through it right above stream that could bust at any time and cause a disaster and leave you and your people with nothing. What would you do? Sit back on your ass and think that it's okay because Obama and Hillary told you so? Because your mainstream, controlled mainstream establishment media told you so? Once again, it's the Federale Cowboys against the Indians up here, and the Indians have no guns. But this is a different bust that just took place. This was a pipeline burst in North Dakota, and this was owned by Oasis Petroleum. It is yet to be capped. It is still leaking more than 67,000 gallons of crude oil thus far. Is the mainstream talking anything about it? Hell no, they're not. But this is happening right now, and this is actually the third pipeline bust within the past week and a half. Your mainstream media will never tell you a damn thing about it. But this is the reason they're doing what they're doing, protecting their rights, their future. And it's just, it kills me how many brain-dead sheeple out there consume and regurgitate the mainstream crap without looking any further into it as to why these people would really be putting themselves in danger. Why would they be going to an area labeled private property and doing all this to begin with? They're making a stand. And they're doing more than what some of you out there will ever do. And until you do, there will be no change in this country. Like a bunch of lemmings, you'll go right toward the cliff's edge and right over it. Shout outs to my frontline soldier up here, Isha. This is a clip of the sunrise this morning as he was doing a little bit of chanting and uh, getting ready for the day. He has provided us with a good look at what's really happening up here. And since he has allowed us to be able to share his footage and get it out there. I'm going to continue to do this as much as possible and play my part in showing everyone what's really going on up here on a daily basis. I will leave links and continue to update on this as things change. Just remember, they've been shooting these people with uh, rubber bullets, bean bags, putting them in uh, dog kennels. They've shot their horses, leaving them bloody. Uh, no fly zone. They've got their APCs, National Guard. A provocateur just rolled up in here from Dakota Access Pipeline that I covered in another video with a rifle, popping off shots. He was busted driving a Dakota Access truck. So a lot of things going on up here. And if you stay just plugged into your mainstream, uh, you're going to miss a lot of the truth of what's really happening. Much love, y'all. This has been Dabu7. TV Thai Queen and Babinum. Hey, no Thai TV Thai TV no be no be. 